Hey, what's going on, you guys, man? It's your boy, Stills Maniac. Back with, uh, back at you guys with another video, man. Um, sorry we see clothes and mattress in the back, man. Still getting moved in here, but um, I want to come at you guys with a topic um on uh, Le uh on why I think Le'Veon Bell should pursue this holdout uh until until he gets his new contract extension. Uh, one of the reasons why I think he should pursue it is uh Antonio Brown got got his extension in February. He got his extension in February. Now, he played last year hoping he would get the extension this year, and he did. Uh, so, Antonio Brown got his money. Megan Bell needs to get his money. I mean, two of the best players at their position on our team, in my opinion. Now, I might be biased because I'm a Steelers fan, but fuck it. Uh, my second reason is, you know, when, when you look at our team last year, we weren't supposed to make it to the AFC Championship. When you look at the things that happened in the offseason last year, we weren't supposed to make it. You know, coming into the season last year, people thought, you know, we're going to the Super Bowl, you know, analysts picking us to win it and all that. But when we lose Mar Mar Martavis Bryant for one year due to drugs or whatever he did, violating the league's policy, when we lose Marcus Wheaton to injury, you know, in and out of the lineup, didn't really play for us all year, you know, two of our top three wide receivers are gone for the for the whole year. So now we gotta, you know, rely on Antonio Brown, you know, to pick up, you know, the slack of both of them. Which is hard because he's already gonna be picking up, you know, facing all these types of defenses and, and, and all these types of coverages just because of who he is. So now the defense is gonna be able to focus more on him because now we're gonna have Backup wide receivers trying to step up and defenses know that they're not that good at, you know, as Martavis Bryant and Marcus Wheaton. You know, when you look at Eli Rogers and Mark and um uh what's his name? Kobe Hamilton and and Sammy Coates, you know, they're good wide receivers, but they're not the caliber wide receivers of Martavis Bryant and Marcus Wheaton. So defenses could focus more on Antonio Brown. You know, so right off the bat, we weren't supposed to make it to the AFC championship. You know, and when you look at it, you know, in the beginning of the season, we were up and down. You know what I mean? You know, at at home, we were good. But on the road, we weren't that good. You know, and we weren't putting up a lot of points either. You know, so I, I in my opinion, I think after the Patriots game or the Cowboys game, you know, Mike Tomlin and the coaching staff realized that we are going to need to give the rock to Le'Veon Bell and have him carry us and see if he can carry us to the playoffs, to the AFC Championship. And that's exactly what he did. You know, I, toward, towards the back end of the season, we start running the ball a lot more, man, a lot more, giving the ball to Le'Veon Bell, see if he can, you know, handle the, you know, handle the toll put on him to carry us, man. And he handled it pretty well, man. He was breaking records, running all over teams, you know, Doing it both running and receiving, you know, because of his versatility, you know. And, we, and when, when you look at that Bills game, I think that really solidified, you know, the the type of, you know, back end of the season plus playoffs he was going to have if, if we kept giving him the rock. You know, he broke like a single game franchise record for us against the Bills last year. I think it was like 230 or 24 yards, man. It was something ridiculous. I mean, running all over the Buffalo Bills, you know, and... He, and he kept doing that throughout the end of the season through the playoffs. I mean, the first two games of the playoffs, he broke a couple of the records. You know what I mean? And he, uh, he was just going off. He, he was really, honestly, carrying us through the playoffs to the AFC Championship. If it, if it wasn't for him, honestly, I don't think we would have even made it to the AFC Championship. I think if it wasn't for him, we would have lost to the Chiefs. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, Le'Veon Bell really solidified his place on the team and 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 really solidified how how important he is to this team. You know, he realized, you know, he he proved to the Steelers organization that, yo, look, I'm the best running back in this league. I can carry this team if you guys need me to to the playoffs, to the anti championship. As he proved, he proved that. He proved that he's that type of caliber player. You know, he's he's that type, you know, he's that much greater of a player to do that. 
and he feels like, you know, he should get a contract extension. You know, he shouldn't be keep playing under under this contract that, that, that he's already under. He needs an extension. And I mean still I mean Steeler fans, could you blame him? I mean, honestly, Steeler fans, honestly. Do, do do you guys really think last year, I'm not talking about this, I'm talking about last year, do you honestly think that we would have been as far as we've got last year without Le'Veon Bell? Really? Do you guys think that we, we would have made it that far without Le'Veon Bell? Without giving him the rock, letting him carry us, that we would have made it that far? There is no way in hell. Not with the roster we had last year. No way in hell that we would have made it that far without Le'Veon Bell. And, and that's why I think he deserves his contract extension. That's why I believe that if he keeps holding out, the, the, the Steelers will pay him his money. Because he's too great of a player. He's too important to our team's success to not give him his money. To have him hold out and not be there with the guys, with the team. You know, going over the plays, get get you know, getting reps. He's too he's too important, man. You know, and and that that's why I think he needs to pursue this holdout until they give him his money that he highly deserves, highly deserves, highly. Because yes, he's been through the struggles with suspensions and you know getting hurt and things of that nature. But last year he proved that he is really important to this team. Honestly, he might be the most important guy to this team other than Ben Roethlisberger. Because what he did for us last year, and Tony Brown didn't have the greatest season last year, if you guys know. He did not have the greatest season like how, like how he's had in the past. We relied on Le'Veon Bell, and Le'Veon Bell delivered. He took us to that AFC Championship on his back. And that's why I think... He deserves his contract, and that's why I think he should pursue this holdout until he gets his contract extension and gets his money, man. So, uh, yeah, man, you guys are welcome to leave a comment in below. You know, share your thoughts with me, man. I am um, open to hearing, you know, what you guys think, man. I know I haven't posted on here in a while, man, but, you know, as the season gets closer and closer and, you know, games start coming on, I will be posting my thoughts on games and my thoughts on you know, how uh, training camp is going and things of that nature, man. But, yeah, man, those are my thoughts on Le'Veon Bills. Hold out, man. Um, it's your boy, Still as Maniac, signing out once again, bitch.